ain't been up on the block in a minute. Uh, I've been missing out the walk with the minute. Uh, uh, I've been building up the blocks like a me. Uh, uh, Elliot got water dripping out the city. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, he got his glide. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, boy, that boy on top. Uh, what, sip and walk. What up, Ben? It's John. It's your boy, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. I'm here at the new Hawkstone. Um, I've been wanting to make a video on it. i kind of just been busy. But um, shout out to my boy, Ben. He did send me a nice little Husqvarna setup. I did try to qualify on this track for amateurs, and I ran a 209. I think a 208 would have got me into there. But I placed, like, 39th, which I was happy. Like, me personally, I think I know where I messed up, and I could have. Um, but... You know, I could have gotten better. I could have done better. So at the end of the day, I'm happy with my progress, knowing that I was only four slots off. And if they would have done a 40 man gate, I would have actually made it in. So no biggie to me. Um, but I am going to try out the Husqvarna. Uh, ben said it was going to be a W setup. So I thought I'd give her a go. So if you guys haven't hit that like button, drop a like. Thank you guys for 6,400 subs, man. We are going to get active with that. And hopefully 265, man. Kelso Cup's coming out real soon. I'm super excited for that. Thank you for all the people that's just been literally given that support and that i've given to early and just been able to make some uh great content on it um yeah i don't know i i'm really gelling with this track i think the biggest thing is you can't say that just because you didn't qualify you hate the track or anything like that i think this is a person person like a personal favor to me for a preseason opener i felt like it just kind of showed me where i needed to be like and where i could work on like i just know i got to hugging the i guess berms and stuff like that a little bit harder rail a little bit harder and stuff like that am i getting beat up from the back i am i'm getting it landed on i can't believe i'm alive w oh man all right let's just reset all right cowboy was trying to get up all on my grill ben was trying to get up all on my grill and i get whacked how does he not even like die off that holy cow amazing anyways uh, I do enjoy the track, and I think you guys, if you guys haven't picked this one up, uh, this is a definite worth $2, especially if you're going to be doing the MXGP. I think it was just fun to find out where you are, especially being preseason, right? You didn't lose, lose nothing, you didn't gain nothing. Kind of just to see, like, a stepping spot to where you're going to be at as I continue have to battle through this. I'm going to take this inside. I haven't really taken this inside. I always went outside, and that's the reason why. It's the reason why we'll go outside, right? Kind of got to forget that that was literally almost not even a whole lap yet. They're doing like five minutes plus two. Shout out to Ace Moto for hosting this. I haven't really seen any other uh, lobbies open. I think TGR was trying to host and they had like two people in there. So W that they're at least trying to still make this, you know, track live. Oh, oh, can I land that? Oh, I'm bouncing everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will say the track's like not super crazily hard. It's just about hitting your marks. And that's what I enjoy about uh, JV is that like the you have to respect the roughness and you have to respect how things are going to go. You can't just hold it down and, you know, pray that you're going to make it. You have to literally respect the track. And I like that, man. JV deserves a W from this, and Hell Machine was working with him as well, and I had just got off Hell Machine's, you know, sand track that he made uh, with JVDL, so. All W tracks, bro, in all, all, all honesty. That guy, Masty, goes right over the top. I don't know. <clears throat> I really do enjoy the KTM, and I enjoy the Husky. I think the only thing the Husky's just not, not giving me justice is I just can't find the same power band that... <laughs> the ktm has like i think this bike is so much more planted than the husky dude i mean than the ktm but it's just not giving me the same satisfaction as i know i would feel uh, on a ktm and maybe you just have to literally soak that up and be like hey you know what i'm willing to uh compromise a little bit of bumping bumps and all that for that little bit more power and then at that point it's just about being able to wield the bike to you so i don't know as time goes on i feel like i'll be able to get it down packed but Right now, I do enjoy the Husky. Does it make me want to switch back right now? Mm, probably not. Like I said, I've, 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 I'm trying to figure it out myself. Maybe I have to toy with the power band and the uh, sprocket. But right now, it does feel more planted than what the KTM was feeling on here. I just know that I could rail everything with the KTM. Or at least running a 209 railing, I should say. It was just me messing up in certain spots that I felt like I could have definitely powered through. 
Can we land? Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna take the outside. I don't know why, but I do enjoy this outside. Just that point example. I think that inside just gets rutted up too quick, and it's just perfect to rail the outside. Let's go fourth gear, though. Huge shout out to HSM as well. I appreciate you guys for just, you know, being able to support me and, you know, believe in what I do and continue to grind on. Such a great. Wow. What a bounce. Great community over there. Okay. No, it worked. Word, word, word. Just bouncing up on the top of the hill. Gotta love it. But yeah, I like it. This off camera kind of view or this off camera kind of sight to where you're in the back of the tree line is actually really sick. Either lose a lot of time or gain a lot of time back there because you have to hit it perfect. I don't know. I think I've hit a 208 once and that was the fastest I've gotten. I've just, I've been trying to find that those, that spot, you know, that G spot where it's like, okay, bet. I'm understanding where I'm losing this time, which I think when I'm actually on pace, I haven't had the consistency enough yet to actually, you know, get there. Like, I'll be super fast, and all of a sudden, I'll mess up in a spot to where, like, I thought that I was literally hitting with, with you know, ease, and then all of a sudden, I mess up to where it's like I've conquered the bad spot, and now, like, I'm literally messing up on the easy spots. So, just simple things like that that I got to take care of. Scrubbing a little bit better on the outdoors. I think my scrubbing looks pretty good for Supercross. Super excited for Arlington uh, this week. Um, just kind of been missing that as well. Should be making a video here soon for that. But I know that I just want to, I want to dip my feet in everything I can and make as much content as I can for all this, dude. I want to at least give my go and give my fair share of like, hey, I at least try to compete, you know? And I think that was the coolest thing, you know? I, I went in there hoping that I could get close to qualifying, you know, and my qualifying server, I was like damn near top two, top three, and did not make it anywhere close, dude. People were running 206s and 205s. I'm like, ah! you know what i mean i'm like yo what was i doing wrong you know so but at the end of the day i'm happy for them and i'm happy for that progress just to know where i stand like i said like it wasn't like i i literally missed it qualifying by four slots so it's like all right bet where can i find those four slots to get faster which i think i had the 208 in me if i would have cleaned up more of my lap so no biggie we're chilling with that i mean right now i know cam's in here he's actually ripping but i'm happy to be in a top 10 spot um, and just still work on my craft and still see that I'm able to keep up with some of these guys right now. Oh, can I make that? Oh, and then I hit the side of the... That, that's the thing. Like, I feel like I know how to get down. The, uh, I know how to get down here. But it's like doing it consistently enough. Can I do it? You know? And that's just what I got to learn. And that's what I got to practice on. I felt like... I, I know the right spot and then I get a weird I either do a weird stand up at the wrong time or just get a weird kicker and it's just like crap and just right there like I'm maybe standing up a little bit too long and I need to sit down so I can actually turn the bike so it's just more or less on me kind of doing that adjustment from practicing so much supercross and actually getting back I felt like I've made a good amount of progress when I was practicing for MXGP but it's just the small little things like that that are that is holding me back so we'll definitely have to put that to the test but not bad writing, you know. Not bad writing at all. Scrub. Guess we'll try to focus up and try to go get Masty. Shout out to my boy Masty on HSM. Guy's been ripping, getting good. And I also said, man, I knew the competition was going to be heavy for outdoors. You know how many people actually play outdoors only and barely get into Supercross? So... I felt like that's everybody's for the most part bread and butter and trying to work on the craft, you know. Supercross, you know, it's the pinnacle of us. Like, you really have to put in that practice because you got to be super consistent. Out here, it's just making sure you can run your lines a okay and get through it. But for Supercross, man, it's all about literally hitting the same triple, same double, same Supercross whoops, you know. And then that's going to, you know, separate you from the boys, the men. But as time goes on, we'll be straight. Oh man, and I slide out. I am happy with my progress though, and the Husqvarna is feeling pretty great. Not gonna lie. I do like it. Will it make me the switch? Not yet. I might need another, another uh, racer so just to fill it, just to get into it. I do like this hill though, man. This hill is fun just to rail all the way up, get a nice little scrub, maybe second. I know it's like you want to stay outside and here. I just, I gotta find a way to apex it, you know? Gotta find a way to, first gear. 
Boom. Now, I heard you want to stay all inside here. Maybe sit down. Oh, man, I almost fell, like, to my death. And then, yeah, that's just not looking apexy at all. Like, getting the right lines. Ah, scrub. Not even a scrub. Just get popped up. Yeah, I don't know where, I don't know why, where I heard it, but some people are not gelling with the track, man, and honestly, dude, I, I think this track is a dub. I definitely am going to be riding this way more often on my off time, because it, it's it's great practice to see what JV and if Hell Machine's going more in-depth with it, just how to, you know, get better, and like what the scaling and what the freaking bumps are going to feel like, dude. It's the best opener preseason I think I've felt in, in almost anything, you know? So, that's a dub. Dub to me. There we go. There we go. I mean, I feel like I'm getting the flow. And I feel like because I'm talking, it's also probably messing me up. But we'll be all right. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Definitely want to give it another go. All right, I feel like there's a little bit more to this bike. I don't know if I switch up, switch up on the teams or what. And that's a W race. That's a W race. I mean, I'll take an eighth place. I feel like I could definitely be uh, being a little bit more practicey, getting a little bit more in here.